Welcome guys, today we have an exciting video. We've got a new announcement to make and we've got some detailed cutting with the plasma cutter for you to show off today. We want to take just a minute and introduce ourselves. We're a father-son team that makes up JD's Garage and my name is Jeff and I've been working in uh, operations management for a manufacturing company for the last couple decades and that's my background and this is my son Jackson. Hi, I'm Jackson. I have a degree in electrical engineering. Currently I work at a large automation company and I do programming and electrical work on the robots there. And prior to that, I used to work at the largest US based 3D printer manufacturer. And what I did there was the electrical and software design on their current models that are on the market. So with Jackson's background and my background, it made a lot of sense to come and build a 3D, 3D or a CNC machine for plasma cutting. A CNC machine is quite a bit simpler than a 3D printer. So it, was, it wasn't a hard project for us. It was just figuring out the mechanics and kind of the MO of our channel is to do things on a budget that most people can afford to do at home. So with that, the exciting news we have is we've had a lot of interest in plans uh, to be able to build one of these yourself. So we do have plans done, we have a design done, and we have a packet available. It has over 70 pages of instructions with individual part drawings. It also has uh, schematics on how to do the wiring. It has the settings for the drivers in the electronics. So everything anyone would need to get this project off the ground. Um, the second part that we're offering is we're offering the 3D printed parts. If you don't have a 3D printer, we have a supplement package that you can buy the 3D printed parts from us. If you do have a 3D printer, you can just print the parts yourself because the STL files are included in the plan description. So you can get the plan package, print your own parts and get up and running. So we'll have a link to our online store in the description and then follow through for the rest of the video so you can see the interesting cutting we've got going on today. Shout out to Nemesis RTCW for suggesting that we just turn up the amperage and adjust the speeding accordingly. Uh, these parts have had no cleanup done to them, and this is how they're just dropping off the machine right now. So we're getting really, really nice surface finishes, surface finishes on them, and dimensionally, they're also very accurate. Well, we built this machine to help us in our uh, cross cart buggies builds. So we're going to make the first parts for the thing. We're going to cut out some tabs, some suspension tabs for hooking A-arms to the chassis. We're going to see how it works. Looks like we got a pretty good cut, guys. The ones that stayed on there were the ones that happened to be sitting on the slats, but I'm sure they're loose. If I just pick it up a little bit, yep, they're all loose. So, looks like we got a pretty good cut here. Just minor dross on there to clean up, 
little bit of things to knock off. Real nice edge. Um, looks like we've got her dialed in pretty good. So I've had a bunch of snow this winter and uh, we've ruined the cutting edge on the shovel so we're going to try and laser or plasma cut out a new cutting edge. So we've got it loaded in the machine and we're going to have a go. Real thin metal here. The G-code set that's going to cut out the holes first. We're not sure why it says it's going to travel to the far end to do the holes and not do it along the way but it's just we're not very skilled at manipulating the G-code yet. So we downloaded a little design here. We're going to try and cut out um, a little fancy design out of this metal. We'll give it a try. As we cut out that elk, you can see, um, you can grab it, so it is loose, not hot at all, just can't get my fingers under it. I've well, we got one little piece right here, just not sure why it didn't cut, but other than that it looks like a real nice cut along here. So we'll get that one little piece cleaned up. Well here's some of the cutting we've got done here in the, just the last few minutes. So take a look at this piece that we cut and when we went across the slats you can see where we just got a little bit of dross but other than that on this thin metal we almost got zero dross. A little bit, little tiny bit on the holes but for going onto that shovel it's going to be perfect. We're not going to worry about that. We did manage to cut out a couple elk. Um, there's almost no dross except when it goes around um, a real slow area like on the elk's beard you can see it got a little bit of dross but very little anywhere else very little heat transfer to the horns seemed to turn out good that's uh 18 gauge metal so it's fairly thin and then we cut these tabs out and they seem to turn out real good as well this is 3 16th metal that we're going to use so none of this has had any cleanup done on it we're just uh just getting some profiles set for different thicknesses it looks like the table's working well